Hello and welcome to a brand new video on aviation code. Today we will discuss uh, the future of the Airbus A340. Uh, if you want to follow along you can open our website and read our analysis on the A340. So let's get straight into the topic. Uh, with Etihad Airways officially retiring their last A340-600 service, this analysis will focus on the twilight of the Airbus A340-600. Airbus A340s have disappeared from the skies with only a handful of operators currently flying the type. The A340-600 has been removed from fleets due to its higher fuel burn, obviously because the aircraft has four engines. The Airbus A340 also has higher maintenance costs of the Trent 500 engines as compared to the Boeing 7 Boeing 777. This has nothing to do with the fact that the aircraft has four engines. Etihad Airways final A340-600 service is on flight A Y631 to Casablanca. It happened on October uh, 2017. Uh, a launch, the A340 was the longest um, aircraft in the world, only losing out to the 747-800i, uh, which was launched in 2011. A notable airlines that flew the A340-600 include Thai Airways, China Eastern, Cafe Pacific, Etihad, and Lufthansa, which still flies. Uh, current operators of the A340-600 are Iberia, South African Airways, Qatar Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and obviously Lufthansa. Iberia and South African use the aircraft for its good and high performance. Uh, you can refer to our analysis on hot and high analysis on our website for more information on this performance. Um, Qatar Airways has four A340 dash 600 which were com originally configured with eight first class seats 42 business class seats and 260 economy class seats qatar densified the fleet and fitted the aircraft with 24 business and 348 economy class seats these aircraft are deployed on kuala lumpur and colombo flights on this sector and at this stage stage length it is very possible that the extra fuel burn of the aircraft is not as significant. By increasing seat count, Qatar decreased cost per seat mile. By a previous analysis, Lufthansa did a similar thing with their 747-400s. Qatar also flies the A340-600 to Barcelona on the flight QR145. With Qatar undergoing rapid expansion, they could hold on to their A340-600 a bit longer until they have a sufficient number of aircraft in their fleet to meet their growth schedule. This is why Qatar wants and will receive the first uh, Airbus A350-1000 to, uh, to take over the A340s. Furthermore, they invested in the retrofit. Economically, it is not logical to invest in a retrofit only to retire the aircraft soon. Um, Iberia also reconfigured some of their A340-600s. While some A340s are being replaced, Iberia has not indicated which work aircraft will replace the A340 on hot and high sectors such as South America, Bogota, Mexico City, Quito and San Jose. Their new layout is 46 business class seats and 300 economy class seats. Um, South African uses the A340 because it's payload king at Johannesburg Airport. South African has outdated interiors in their A340 fleet. A tender was issued last year for refurbishment of two of their nine A340-600. They have not mentioned the configuration of the refurbishment. This means that they will operate the aircraft for some long time. They seat 42 business classes and 275 economy class seats. And South African Airways has a rather generous 33 seat beach in economy com compared to the standard 31 inches offered by other airlines. 
Also, Virgin Atlantic was a big promoter of the A340-600, but they are now being replaced by A330s and 787 Dreamliners. Virgin has 45 business class seats, 38 premium economy class seats, and 225 economy class seats on the Airbus A340-600. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, Virgin has replaced their A340-600 with uh, 787s, which are better for the environment and for the company. The, seven, the 787 have 31 business class seats, 3, 35 premium economy, and 198 economy class seats. That we can note that there is a 33 decrease in business class capacity and a 20 percent in decrease in economy class capacity, comparing uh, the 787 and the A340. Also, Etihad, with its uh, rather small fleet of A340, A340s has eight uh, first class seats. 32 business class seats and 276 economy class seats. The most appropriate similarly sized aircraft uh, for the A340 is the 777-300ER with 8 first class seats, 40 business seats and 282 economy class seats. All airlines keep their business and first uh, class seats between door 1 and 2. Virgin Atlantic has their premium economy cabin after door 2. Lufthansa is another A340 operator with multiple layouts. They are replacing their A340s uh, with uh, their brand new uh, Airbus A350. From a previous analysis, Lufthansa decreased premium cap cabin capacity and increased economy cap class capacity for an overall uh, capacity increase. Once Qatar has an adequate number of aircraft, they will require they will retire their A340s. While unlikely, Virgin Atlantic could reconfigure their A340s to, to a high density layout, similar to what Qatar did. They could then deploy these aircraft on low yield routes. Therefore, it will probably be Iberia or South African Airways that will operate the last A340-600 flight. Neither airline uh, has ordered aircraft to replace the A340 on routes where the A340 performance is required. Etihad is the only airline to operate a first-class cabin, while Qatar historically had a first-class cabin on the A340. Iberia has the largest business class cabin with 46 seats, and Qatar has the smallest business class with 24 seats. Uh, Virgin Atlantic is the only airline to have a premium economy cabin. Uh, South Africa Airways mentioned that they would like to introduce premium economy. However, uh, it is unknown if it will debut on the A340. In conclusion, once Qatar Airways have an adequate number of aircraft. They will require their, they will retire their aid. In conclusion, once Qatar Airways has received more orders, they will re re retire their fleet of A340s. While unlikely, Virgin Atlantic could reconfigure their A340s to a high density layout. And what do you think will happen in the future? Who do you think that will retire their A340s and who do you think that will continue to fly the A340s for uh, for a long period of time? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed uh, this, this video and if you want to check more analysis made by our crew, uh, please check the link in our description for our website aviationcode.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.